I'm Steven Lund. I'm a motion specialist with Warner Electric Supply. I'm here to talk about the Kinetics 5700 advanced safety features on the ERS-4 drives. In order to do that, I have two demos with me today. I have one that's the Control Logix Guard Logix L84 ES safety controller, and then I have another demo with the Kinetics 5700 ERS-4 drives. Uh, the two features I'm going to be talking about today are the SS1, Safe Stop 1 feature, and then the Safe Limited Speed. Those aren't the two only features that are available on the Kinex 5700 ERS-4. You're able to do safe limited positions, safe limited direction, safe operational stop, safe brake control, safe stop two. Uh, but I'm not going to be talking about the rest of those, I'm just going to be doing these two features. Uh, inside the, the demo here I have a Kinex 5700 ERS-4 safety drive, safety point I.O. and the safety rated motor that I'm going to be doing the safety features with it. The safety rated motor is inside of a, a cage with a safety interlock that's going to be activated based on my interaction with the, the panel view 5510. So I'll, I'll get right to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, on the panel view 5510, I'm just going to get the drive ready to go and I'm going to initiate some motion. Once I get the motion ready, I'm going to initiate a safe stop one request, which is going to be a ramped uh, deceleration to a stop and then issue a safe torque off. So I'm going to start the motor up. Once I'm ready to go and I have a bus, uh, bus voltage present, I'm going to initiate motion on the motor and you'll see that it starts to move. At this time I can't access that motor uh, and, because it's unsafe, right? So say I'm a user and I want to interact with that motor and do something with it, clean it, um, alter it or whatever, I would initiate a safe stop one. So that's going to do a ramp deceleration to a stop and once it reaches zero speed it's going to initiate a safe torque off. And then that's going to release the safety interlock. I'm going to be able to open the gate. I can move it around. There's no torque applied. Everything's good. And I'm done doing whatever I was doing inside the machine. I close it back up. And I clear those two requests, safe stop one and safe torque off. You'll hear the click. It goes back in. It's now in a safe state. I can interact with it again. And I'm ready to go. So I'll go back to motion. So if I was a user, that's really e easy to interact with, right? So now I'm going to move the axis again. And now that I'm done with the safe stop one, say I wanted to interact with the machine, but I didn't want to stop it. I wanted to keep torque on the machine or actually keep it moving and, and not reduce production. Uh, same thing, I, I can't access the machine right now, but say I wanted to access it and clean it and not stop moving, I would do a safe limited speed request. So at this point, I'm going to do a safe limited speed request. You'll see that the acceleration goes down to a, a, a lower velocity and you'll hear the click on the interlock and that means I can access it. So now it's at a speed where I can access it without getting hurt. The risk of injury is low. I'm able to interact with the machine, do whatever I need to do, close the gate back up, finish what I was doing, and I can clear that request again so it can go back up to normal operating speed. So I'll click that, it goes back to normal speed and it resumes operation. And those are the two features that I want to talk about today. There are, there are other features that I'd be happy to speak with you about. Just please contact me or anybody else in the motion team at Warner Electric Supply.